Today, we are launching the negotiations on the orderly withdrawal of UK from the EU. Our objective is clear. We must first tackle the uncertainties caused by Brexit, first for citizens, but also for the beneficiaries of the EU policies and for the impact on borders, in particular Ireland. I hope that today we can identify priorities and a timetable that would allow me to report to the European Council later this week that we had a constructive opening of negotiations. So, David. Michel, thank you very much for that uh, kind invitation, that kind of uh, introduction. Uh, I'm in here in Brussels today, like Michel, to begin the next phase of our work to build a new, deep and special partnership with the European Union. But as Michel said, our thoughts this morning are rightly with the victims and families of the awful attack in London last night, or earlier this morning, and of course also with those who have lost loved ones in Portugal too, in that terrible tragedy there. It's at testing times like these that we're reminded of the values and the resolve that we share with our closest allies in Europe. There's more that unites us than that divides us. So while we'll undoubtedly be challenging times ahead of us in the negotiations, we will do all that we can to assure that we deliver a deal that works in the best interests of all citizens. To that end, we're starting this negotiation in a positive and constructive tone, uh, determined to build a strong and special partnership between ourselves and our European allies and friends for the future.